Good night, fellow punchers. The clock on the wall is a quarter to ten. I'm in the Strand Hotel in Limerick. I haven't been... I think I only stayed once before in Limerick. So I get this into the oven. I'll have to celebrate it by going for a pint. I don't know where's the nearest pub. I don't think I'll have one in the hotel. But if all goes to all, I might have the one. I'll see. Um, the rest of the crew are staying over in the Clayton because the rooms wasn't adequate for them. Uh, they had to get two rooms over there because the rooms there was five of them and four of them and five and four and two families. So uh, they were shipped over there. So I left them over there at about um, about ten past just four ten past six. And today was a lazy sort of a day for me. Uh, up early in Galway, piss and rain, and I was in the Park House Hotel, uh, bus parked over at the cathedral, 15 minute walk, no umbrella, no heavy jacket, rain jacket. So they were looking for an umbrella. That's what I needed, but I hadn't got one. And there was none at the front desk either. So I waited um, until it sort of calmed down a bit, went over and brought the wrong umbrella, and I was back nearly halfway and I'm back and I, it had eased a little bit so I brought the bus back with me and the you're not supposed to park a bus at the back of the park house hotel just uh, sort of unloading but uh, two sound hurt and chokers uh, work there at the back uh, sorting the car park out and doing all little small duties Aaron Kavanagh from Barna and Connor Corcoran from Moy Cullen. And both of them play the big ball. Uh, Connor plays with... Uh, I would have seen him playing, uh, but I just hadn't noticed him. So I'll go chat with him a few times during the day. So uh, they went off shopping, and they wanted to eat in fish, chips and McDonald's on Key Street. So it was 2.25, and we leave in heading for Bunratty Castle that tickets got for that so you have to be in before four we got there about quarter to four and I was waiting in until half five for them to come out you get a complimentary uh, tea and apple tart and fresh cream that's right no custard there either uh, in Bunratty so uh, I'll have to bring I'll have to bring a jug with me I think or a Cranberry can of it Cranberry can of custard, a small cranberry can and put it in the boot, but it'd be too hard managed with it. I'll have to do something. So uh, I'm here sort of since. Uh, we had what? We had a sort of a break even day. Um, doing a, a what you call it, a Yankee, two winners. Uh, you just get slightly more than the, you'd pay out. Or I suggested last night. I asked someone said that to me today. I said, "Do the the Yankee or the other one? Because the other one, bet double trebles and the cube is exactly the same as the Yankee. But some people like to different the stake, uh, slightly higher for the doubles, slightly lower for the treble. Because if the treble comes in, then it pays more anyway. And maybe an each way cube when there's four horses. I forgot to put down the each way cube last night. Um, one didn't surface anyway. Um. And it was the most fancied probably of them. Uh, it must rain in uh, Musselboro. I was surprised they were kicking up a divot in that 4 -oh, or uh, yeah, the 4 5 race. And they were a grand winner in the 4.35. That drifted out to uh, fives and it was enhanced to 11 to 2 today. Um, Showtime Mahomes. The Chiefs, Mahomes, quarterback, Showtime. And uh, Al Gaspero couldn't give away the weight. He's more of a stayer. He was staying on again after uh, Yaman had the bit of a toe to pass him out. And um, Chutz Pal, very, very impressive. That was the nap of the day. That was uh, 94 last night, generally available at twos. Uh, absolutely holds up. That is in again uh, Friday in Wexford. It's down as a first reserve. So it'll probably get £15. So I'd imagine they'll run it under a penalty. So they'll be getting someone to pull out a horse, I would imagine, and get the win in again on Friday. They'll probably go off odds on, though. 
Um, tomorrow, two. Two tomorrow. I forgot about, I had a couple of other ones there, but they're in the that racing league, and a lot of people don't like them, but I'll mention them, and if anybody wants to do them, they can. Where are we at here? We're off to Navan in the Royal County. Transcendental for the Inforum Yard, although he wasn't informed for us across the pond today, Gavin Cromwell. He had a winner in uh, Beldestown over the Sticks. This horse uh, formerly was in France. Won in the Cora Six Furlongs of 75 after starting off at 83. That was uh, 15, 28th of May 2023. They went up First time out this year in Navan over a slightly shorter distance than tomorrow. One of 71, went up seven pounds. Has run two good races recently. One was in the race with Kiki and he's a five pound pull for a head. And then the last day, which was only, it will be two days tomorrow, it was yesterday. Uh, it looks like it's going to run. Uh, it was in behind Harry's Hill. Our laddie. This is Harry Sale and this is him here. But over five and he's better over six. I'm hoping this will run tomorrow. It's Harry Sale stretching on in front from here of the yard who sets off in pursuit followed by escaping the jungle who falls away then transcendental and then comes only spoofing Polar Boy who is running on late ahead of Zara Ellis but gone here is Harry Sale from Transcendental who is just winning the battle for second from here of the yard. Harry Sale from Transcendental in third place was here of the yard than Polar Bear and only spoof. He was closing fast. But we were home. And if we look at the race with Kiki. I better back it up a touch. Back it up another touch. That's uh, Transcendental and that's Kiki. And he's a five pound pull for this Begins short run with Kiki and Transcendental. They're wide across the track. Then Collective Powers followed by Winemaker. Genesis, the organiser. I stole an Alex abiding star. Mowgli, big baby ball. Inside the final furlong. And it's Transcendental and Kiki who press ahead and battle it out. Two clear of Secret Magician who's trying to gain other than third. Up towards the finish. Transcendental, Kiki, Secret Magician. Wide across the track. Kiki in between. Secret Magician and Transcendental. You have a five pound pull with the... Robert Weirty. The truth about five pound claimers in that race, but Billy Lee is up tomorrow. Uh, some people say, well, he might be worth the five pound difference, but Weirty used to riding him. And if you look at it as well, uh, Transcendental, that was his uh, second run back after a uh, bit of a layoff. Uh, our horse in there universally has won a couple of times lately. That done a good trick for us last year. And he won, or he was placed a couple of times. Um, but he's just gone up in the weights. He, he won in the early, in the lowest 60s. He's gone up. So, transcendental as an each way bet in that it's an 11 to 2 shot. Into 9 to 2 now. It was 11 to 2 a while ago. Because I backed it at 11 to 2. And I backed the other one, this other one at 5 to 1 in the 4.30. See Chariot. It was a bigger price earlier, but I'm, I was waiting for this as well. Joe Murphy not fired on all cylinders. But if we look at the, the, that secret magician ran there, uh, but it hadn't ran from May. Uh, needs a mile, I think. And this race was over seven furlongs. I think I tipped this lad up before and he didn't run. Um, has anyone a better memory than me? Because I remember looking at showing this race to you before. A widening three legs from That's him back here in the orange hat. Clarita's next, but Nico Nico not forgotten, and Zaragoza is well back in the rough, followed by C. Chariot, and then comes Prisons Dilemma, still rolling. 
tailing off both Alia Sert and Queenie Sinclair. Racing to the final furlong, the Dickie and Biddy White Memorial 7 furlong handicap and secret magician has come to take Bada Bing. Then Dynamic Force, followed by Church Mountain Sea Chariot and Little Katie at Secret Magician all out from Dynamic Force, who's having another go, but it is Secret Magician. Secret Magician, three parts of an eight to go for Dynamic Force, finishing off well with Sea Chariot on the outside of Church Mountain. And the that was over seven in Nace, and he's a mile tomorrow in Navan. Extra for like you'd imagine would suggest. Now that Buccaneer spirit is is uh, won well the last day in uh, wasn't that in Cork? Cork, yeah. Uh, it went up twelve pound for it, um, and I don't know was it any better. Well, it wasn't as good a race as this, but the twelve pound might halt him. See chariot. We back Gibbs Island in Galway didn't do any good for us. Oh, I forgot to mention in that uh, oh, imposing supreme is here, but I think that we got that today. We wanted, uh, but anyone that's back to the last day, it was on the fr uh, Saturday, wasn't it? One in Galway on soft, but I think seven in Galway is his trip. Um, I took five pounds for that, as it's an eight-year-old. I think the other one might have more scope to improve. I mentioned about the racing league tomorrow. Anyone? We backed that Manxman the last day. I should go back this each way. Because the distance of this race is two miles. And... If we look at this race where we backed him in Ascot, class three, he's behind Tactician and Dancing in Paris, two decent animals. And he didn't get up, he, he, was, he traveled wide all through. He didn't get just going on as well. There. Dancing in Paris is sewing out the challenge to Coco Royale. Maxman is with those as well. Dancing in Paris to Maxman, his tactician. He's moved into third. He's thundering home on the far side. Dancing in Paris leading. The green cap then of Maxman. The dark green and yellow of tactician is still getting there as they race towards the line. Dancing in Paris has held up. But if you look at every time he ran the distance of the race tomorrow, uh, that was a good run there in, in uh, Goodwood behind Pledge of Allegiance who went on to win then in Royal Ascot. Uh, you look at it here, uh, Carolina 17, two miles one, two miles one, and two miles here over Heavy Gun. So the, he's better, he, he won four in a row. We had him chipped up there a couple of times when he won them uh, at the start. Um, two mile is his trip. Now, how is how, that's in where tomorrow night? Southern, isn't it? Likes a bit of cut, but Southern isn't like it was years ago. And the other one I mentioned uh, in a video there last week, we were watching it was. I Herb, Air Harbour. I was shown at the race in Kimpton, where he came from the back of the pack on the turn for home. And he was second. He went up three pounds for that second. And he was behind that Grand Karat. Uh, but he wasn't off the air that day. Grand Karat is favourite, and he's 16 to 1, four places. I mean, anything can happen in that. Um, sort of stuff but I will mention it anyway these uh, tomorrow I'm meeting the gang at uh, 10 o'clock over in the Clayton and we're heading for Shannon Airport I haven't been there and I'd say I don't know I'd say 30 years when I was living in America years ago I used to fly from Shannon that's where all the flights used to come from so not anymore uh, but these are going back to JFK and they're flying at 10 to 1. So I'll have them there for half 10. Then I'll be hidden for for the west. Well, northwest. I'll be driving northwest. So I'm on the road again, I think, Saturday. 
and I think the pickup is in the airport at six o'clock in the morning. So I'll have to go up the night before and stay because you won't get me getting out of bed at half three in the morning to go at four to be up there at six because it's wreck you then driving. Uh, but I think uh, I must look at the itinerary. I think we're staying in uh, Trim in the Knightsbrook on uh, Saturday night heading for Cork on Sunday. Um, and they're going golfing in Kerry on Monday. Um, so there'll be a bit of luggage to be hauled about. I've no idea yet how many uh, is there in the gang. But uh, we might as well keep on rocking while we're able. Because it was for a few years there, I would have been able to do what I was doing right now. Anyway, uh, did I... No, that's about it. Bash the bookies over and out.